everybody, it's your boy K-Ray, back at you again. So what I'm going to do today, just cook a little simple uh, dinner. Um, just picked up a nice ribeye, about a one pound ribeye. Still got some of the bone in, in the front, small piece of the bone. Uh, what I'm going to do is blacken that today. Do this cook inside on my stove. Uh, been pretty hot outside been raining today and everything so I rather just cook a little something on the inside I'm blacking it up with some olive oil and this uh, tango spice Cajun rub man that's some good stuff man I, I can't stink, uh, seem to stay away from that and I'm also blacking up uh, these shrimp you know got hold of some good jumbo shrimp down here so uh, get those together and uh, get cracked I'll be back in a minute later. All right, everybody, I am back. And I got um, shrimp seasoned down. I just do mine like one side. Then once I get it in the, in the uh, pan, I do the other side, you know, to make sure I have all my season on there. Did the same thing uh, for the steak. So I got my cast iron skittle over here getting getting hot. Got a couple more little items here. I got some butter, melted butter, about two tablespoons over here that I'm going to use to base the uh, the shrimp with. I always get the butter on there. I just made a little uh, steak sauce uh, here. It's just some uh, that parquet squeezable butter, about two tablespoons, uh, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, teaspoon of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of... Uh, garlic powder and um, half a teaspoon of black pepper mixed it all up so should work pretty well um, on this blackened uh, ribeye that I have so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get it my uh, skittle is already coming up the temp starting to smoke a little bit so I'm gonna get that throw this on and then uh, I'll get back at you midway through the cooking process later Right, everybody, I'm back. Halfway through, got to flip one. Got the steak flip one. Uh, you got to excuse my exhaust fan. I got to keep it on because I don't want my house to get smoked up real bad. So, um, of course, the shrimp going to be ready before the steak. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to roll it right along, get my steak bought up to medium, and uh, be ready to do some eating then. Also, I'm going to do a, a, a stuffed baked potato with it. A loaded baked potato, whatever you want to call it, but we rolling right along later. Right, everybody, I'm back. Got my steak going, still going. What I did, I just put like the steak weight on top of it so it can uh, go ahead and cook a little bit faster so I don't have to call the fire department out here. Now I'm just playing everything going good, so there we go. Looking real good. So, really. I mean, you can cook this probably about five minutes per side. You'll be good to go. Shrimp already ready to go. Put a little butter base on them. Glossing them up a little bit. Be ready to eat in a couple more minutes. Later. All right, everybody. I am back. This is uh, my finished product right here. Black and ribeye, black and shrimp, loaded baked potato. So I was able to do it in the house and be kind of successful, but it did smoke it up a little bit. You know, some people can deal with it, some people can't. So I suggest that people that don't want a little smoke in your house uh, uh, don't do this inside. But uh, let's see what we got here. pretty good. That's what I wanted around medium. Oh man. Tastes good. That um steak sauce that I made blends right in with the black and steak. Good. Nice medium. Just the way I like it. 
Mm-hmm. No, ain't gonna be able to finish this whole thing, so eat some of it this evening. Have some good leftover for tomorrow. Shrimps came out good as well too. Oh yeah, done like a good black and shrimp. Yo. So that's it. Just a little simple, easy cook for me. Had a taste for black and steak and shrimp. So I'm um, gonna get busy in a few minutes on it. So uh, everybody just let me know what you think, how you like it, by leaving me a thumbs up or comment. Appreciate all my subscribers, old and new. Um, keep rolling these videos out. And uh, I'll just get back with y'all in the near future. Later. Peace. Peace out. Later.